Yes, what's on your mind? I thought I said I don't want to talk about it anymore. I suppose you're right. Fine, then. But I, I don't know why you're so interested, but here goes. When I think of all the men who betrayed us, the one that stands out above all of them is the one that I respected the most. Saul. With good reason. Admiral Saul Carath is the commander of the entire Sith fleet. He's half the reason Malak has done so well in the war. Saul was my commanding officer back when the Mandalorian Wars first began. He taught me everything about being a soldier, and I looked up to him. Saul approached me before he left. He talked to me about how the Republic was on the losing side and about how I should start thinking of my survival. I know now that he was trying to recruit me into the Sith, but I couldn't have conceived of it back then. I, I argued with him and he got angry and he left. I never saw him again. I didn't want to, maybe. Are you so sure you would have? Saul was my mentor. He led us to so many victories against the Mandalorians. Even when things looked to be at their worst, I just... I couldn't conceive of it. He, he couldn't be serious. I was wrong, of course. He not only left us for the Sith, he, he gave them the codes to bypass our scanners. I remember waking up as the first of the Sith bombers snuck past our defenses and began destroying half of our dock ships. I knew right away what had happened. I mean, I could have stopped him. I, I could have stopped it all. I don't know, maybe. He might have killed me if I tried, or I might have killed him. I was stupid, however, and I let him go. You know, I fought Saul for years now, and if I ever catch up to him, he will regret what he's done. He will regret it. Well, there's more to the story, I guess. But I don't want to talk about it right now. Let's go. How can I help? I would like to know what happened after you crashed on Taurus. I'm curious as to what you and Karth were doing before we all joined forces. Yes, I realize that, of course. But surely there was more to it than a simple search. I doubt there were flashing signs pointing you in my direction. Yet somehow you found me. You also avoided detection by the Sith, discovered I was a Volker prisoner, gained sponsorship for the race, and became the Taurus Swoop champion. That's quite a resume. Your modesty is admirable, but though others helped, you were the catalyst for these events. When you were chosen to join this mission, I doubt any of us expected this much from you. A Jedi could have done such things, of course, but only by drawing heavily upon the Force. Perhaps, but the Force works through all of us to some degree or another. There are some individuals outside the Jedi Order that we consider Force-sensitive. It's obvious to me that the Force has been working through you. There is no other explanation for your great success, though I'm not certain what to make of this discovery. Perhaps if you weren't... well, if you were younger, the Jedi might take you for training. But as it is... I'm sorry, I've overstepped my authority. I'm speaking of things that are best left to the Jedi Council. For now, let's just accept the fact that you are gifted. Hopefully, between your abilities, my Jedi training, and the skills of our companions, we can find a way off this planet. Talk about Griff and Lena. 
Just the thought of that space tramp makes my blood boil. If I'm gonna be any help to you, I can't be worrying about my brother running off with some intergalactic skank. So is there something else you need? Okay, have it your way. Rundi Hadonga Kuhunga B. Wana Kunbes. Jink Palamul Tong King Ba Nakonkek. Tung Ting Tachun Kun Meg Mulira Best. Takum Justak Miki Grabal Mogo. Kachi Chu Aitha Hadonga Tulpata Bonk Molya Gando Danago Chuchut. Moga Shampoopa Olawana Chikni. Bamul neslik mo po da na wanga kun bist muli rabest. Tong hai tuam jiji yumalith pa ang hinkotu. Tulpa da bungk waliagando da nago chuchut kachi chuay sa haudonga. Yumalith ka hinkotun chilo mulra de ne bobo unka kun biskang. Shagji kin lor chawa ta uma? Kava volpa mulci kumana. Kin kun shachi kin, ni kin kun oba muli raji kun? I saw you in the swoop race. Very impressive. You seem like you know how to get results. That's just the kind of person I'm looking for. My name's Candorus Ordo. I work for Davik Kang in the exchange. The hours aren't great, but they promised me a fortune to work for them. And I have nothing better to do. Mandalorian mercs like me are in high demand. But lately, Davik hasn't been paying me what he promised. I don't like getting cheated. So I figure it's time for me to break the Sith quarantine and get off this backwater planet. I've got a plan to escape Taris, but I can't do it alone. I need someone I know can get the job done to help me. That's where you come in. Careful. Mercs like this having a lick of conscience. They'll betray you in a heartbeat. This could be a trap. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking to your friend, aren't I? I saw you win that swoop race and started thinking. Anyone crazy enough to race like that is probably crazy enough to break into the Sith military base. I need someone to steal the Sith launch codes from the base. Without those codes, any ship leaving the atmosphere will be disintegrated by the Sith fleet's automated defense guns. Here's the deal. You bring me those launch codes, and I can provide the vehicle to get us off the planet. Davik's flagship, the Ebon Hawk. Getting in won't be easy. The Sith base is protected by an encrypted security system. It would take a top-of-the-line astromech droid to slice through it. Lucky for you, I know just the place to get a droid like that. Davik was having one custom-built by Janice Nal. Just tell her Kandor has sent you, and she'll sell you the droid. Then you can use it to get the launch codes from the Sith base. Davik paid for the droid, but I'm the guy he put in charge of the mission. He won't care how I come up with those codes. Normally I'd do this myself, but everyone knows who I work for. If I broke into the Sith base, they'd send an army down on Davik's estate to get those codes back. That's why I need you. I don't sense any deception from him, which is surprising. This may be exactly what we need. I'm going to wait in Javiar's cantina. You come and find me when you've got those launch codes, and I'll make sure we both get off this rock. Vulcans managed to capture a famous Jedi like you. Were you knocked out when your escape pod crashed? No, I was conscious. But my force powers were exhausted from using my battle meditation in the battle for the End of Spire. Without my help, you might have never gotten off the ship alive. Fair enough, but 
I've seen you Jedi in action. There's there's no way those thugs could have stood a chance against your lightsaber. My lightsaber was misplaced. I couldn't find it after the crash. I looked everywhere in that pod. The Vulcans came and overwhelmed me even as I was searching for my weapon. Wait a minute. Let me get this straight. You lost your lightsaber? <laughs> I mean, isn't that a violation of some kind of Jedi code or something? This is no laughing matter. During the crash, my lightsaber must have... It must have fallen from my belt and rolled under my seat. The Vulcans probably found it there when they searched the wreckage. Hey, 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 don't get mad. I'm sorry. It's just funny to think of a legendary Jedi losing her lightsaber. This is one detail you might want to keep out of the history texts. I hardly consider myself a legend, Carve. Though I will consider your advice when I relate these events to the Jedi Council. There is no need for them to know every detail of what transpired. He appeared to me. He endured it all. And was he good? And keep behind all look here. And now for the Lufta. Get out of here, you goggle-eyed freak! You're too ugly for the upper city. Yeah! Go back to where you came from. We don't want your kind up here. And keep behind all look here. Why do you care what happens to some scummy alien? He's just a freak. Yeah, he isn't even supposed to be in the upper city. Come on, let's go. I don't want to listen to this alien lover anymore. Joining all the Jedi who were running off to follow Revan and Malak when they went to fight the Mandalorians? That was nearly five years ago. I was still an apprentice. My battle meditation hadn't even manifested itself. Yet even then I had the wisdom to obey the will of the Council. Unlike Revan. I guess. Still, do you ever wonder if things could have been different? But would Revan and Malak still have been corrupted if the Council had supported them instead of dragging its feet? Do not blame Revan's corruption on the Council. Your Republic saw only the threat of the Mandalorians, but the wisdom of the Masters saw beyond the immediate threat. There was something lurking out there. Something that devoured Revan and Malak, and many other Jedi. Had the Council sent us all into the unknown, how many more would have fallen? So you're saying we should have done nothing? Just let the Mandalorians conquer us on the post? I mean, the Republic was under attack, and the Order abandoned us. We did not abandon you. But the Council were not about to throw lives away foolishly. In time, we would have aided you against the Mandalorians. But you couldn't wait. Revan and Malak offered a quicker answer, and the Republic chose to walk the easy path rather than the path of wisdom. Now we see the results all around us. You asked me if I think things could have been different. I know they could have. If Revan had only listened to the Council, millions of innocent people would still be alive. Yeah, right. And every single one of them would speak in Mandalorian. I, I think we've done. Let's just get back to the task at hand. Hachu apanki, jishawa anibun ka sha chona si ichua byong bo joni, mina mamba to mule ra, haku gri kat gotala parabola. 
kao danja foki, čo čiska do punta kaka spaka, vanno oto. Wata wama muli ri, kin kun čo pešwa, no ba mule raži, žone jutori janči, ida bola onči čnek, ba muli selima wanga kun bitkin. Kava dumpa kapalia mona pata, bona nakachu. Yin kin kun no ba mule rachi kun, tong na bun sha nu yang. Kin kun shi ka kichin awana wamata. Ni shi la chorga kin kun pala mona reji. Ching pala niska mule tun rata tigin po drunko. The search doma wana kun de tama. Bona nakachu. Kicha Badwang, Wanga Kum Kiba Bu Mulera, Kakin Chak Nawa Gawa Bakon, Dunk Kiba Nukunet, Tonga Boksha Um Nagnong. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm here. What? Bobo, 
Wango kumpes kagang pamamarulira. What can I do? Yes?
around here. What? Yes? Sure. Who dares to break my meditation? You will pay for interrupting my... Wait. I sense the Force is strong with you. Very strong. Who would have thought a Force Adept could be found on this insignificant planet? But your talent is no match for a disciple of the Dark Side. You are a fool. This is a new age. The Sith shall be the ones passing judgment now. We are the new order of the galaxy. This meeting is a stroke of luck for me. My master will surely reward me with my lightsaber once I kill you.
I figured you'd be back. Neither of us is getting off this planet unless we work together. Now, I know the Sith military base had a break-in. And I know it was you. I know you've got those departure codes I need. So what do you say? We join forces, and I can get you inside Davik's base, and right to the Ebon Hawk. We can go right now. Davik's always looking to recruit new talent. I'll tell him how you won that swoop race. Mention that you're interested in working for the Exchange. I'll say I brought you in so he could check you out. He'll have you stay at his estate for a couple of days while he runs some background checks on you. That's standard procedure. That's not a bad plan. It might just work. While Davik's checking you out, we steal the Ebon Hawk and escape Taurus. Come on. I've got an airspeeder nearby to take us to Davik's estate. The sooner we're off Taurus, the better. Summon me, Lord Malak. The search for Bastila is taking too long. We cannot risk her escaping Taras. Destroy the entire planet. The, the entire planet, Lord Malak. But there are billions of people on Taras. We'd be slaughtering countless innocent civilians, not to mention our own men still on the surface. Your predecessor once made the mistake of questioning my orders, Admiral. Surely you are not so foolish as to make the same mistake. Of... of course not, my Lord Malik. I will do as you command, but it will take several hours to position our fleet. Then I suggest you begin immediately. You are dismissed, Admiral. Yes, Lord Man. So, Candorus, I see you've brought someone with you. Most intriguing, if I do say so myself. You usually travel alone. It's not like you to take on partners, Candorus. You're getting soft. Watch yourself, Gallo. You may be the newest calf hound in the pack, but you aren't top dog yet. Enough! I won't have my top two men killing each other. That's not good business. I'm sure Candorus has an explanation as to why he's not working solo anymore. This is a special case, Davak. I ran into someone the Exchange might want to recruit. You may have heard something of their exploits already. Ah, yes. Now I recognize your companion. The rider who won the big swoop race. Very impressive as was your display in the rather heated battle afterwards. You know, Candorus was right. The Exchange is always looking for new talent. You could have a bright future with our organization. With the recommendation from Candorus, and a thorough background check, you could become part of the Exchange. Many would kill to prove themselves worthy of this honor. Come with me. I will give you a tour of my operations. I'm certain you'll be most impressed. Ah, there she is. The Ebon Hawk. My pride and joy. The fastest ship in the Outer Rim. Note the state-of-the-art security system I've had installed to protect her. The shields are completely impregnable. Nobody can get past them without the codes to try and steal my baby. Unfortunately, the Sith military blockade has grounded my vessel. The Ebon Hawk can outrun any vessel in the galaxy. But even she isn't fast enough to avoid the auto-targeting laser cannons of the orbiting Sith fleet. I am, of course, working on acquiring the Sith departure codes so that I may come and go as I please. However, progress has been slow. 
but we should continue our tour. These'll be your accommodations. The slave quarters are just down the hall. If you need anything during your stay, food, a massage, feel free to call upon their services. If all goes well with your background check, you will be invited to join the exchange. I'd advise you to accept the offer when it comes, or suffer the dire consequences of refusal. You will stay in these rooms as my guest for the next few days. I will not accept no for an answer. Feel free to visit the slave quarters at any time during your stay. I must warn you that if you are found anywhere outside the guest wing during your stay, or if you bother my other guests, my security forces will deal with you most harshly. I will return after the investigation into your background is complete. Until then, make yourself comfortable. Come, Callow. Let us leave our guests in peace. Okay, we're inside. Now all we have to do is figure out a way to get past the Ebon Hawk's security system, and we can get the rest of your group off this planet. No sense waiting around here, though. The sooner we get off Taurus, the better. Yeah? Welcome to the slave quarters, Master. Here we have succulent fruits and berries to tempt your palate, as well as luxurious baths to soothe your aches and pains. <laughs> now this is my kind of place. Would you like a relaxing massage? Whatever your desire, we are here to serve. Of course. Return whenever you wish to partake of what is offered here. We exist only to serve you. Huh? 
What? Yes? Yeah, what do you want? You want to hear tales of my exploits? Of the wars I've seen and fought? The enemies I've seen die by my hand? <laughs> sure, I'll humor you. My name's Candorus, of the Mandalorian clan Ordo. I've been fighting across the galaxy for 40 of your years. For my people, it is the honor and glory of battle that rules us. It's through combat that we prove our worth gain renown, and make our fortunes. Times have changed now. The Mandalore clans have been scattered across the Outer Rim. The Republic is in decline, and the Sith Empire rises to take its place. The clans as they were are a threat, but the galaxy still fears us. <laughs> People think we war out of spite or bloodlust. They don't understand and fear that. We only wanted the challenge of the battle, and glory from it, win or lose. And we lost. But now I have no real challenges. Crushing Davik's enemies and the pathetic gangs in the lower city of Taris could not be considered the most glorious of tasks. When I think of the battles I've fought, the thousands I've killed, the worlds I've burned, I weep for my past. We will never again speak of this. We've got work to do, so let's get to it.
How dare you invade my chambers? How rude! I am a personal guest of Davik himself. I left specific instructions that you guards were not to disturb me until morning. How can Davik expect me to invest in his ventures with this kind of incompetence on display? I should summon the other guards and report you to your commanding officer. That is no excuse for incompetence! I gave very specific orders that were not followed! I'm going to summon the guards and report you to your superiors. Don't work for Davik. Then what is... Plus! Assassins! Guards! Save me! Ah. Thank <laughs> you. 
No idea what it was like in that torture cage. I don't know how much more I could take before going mad. I don't have anything to give you as a reward for freeing me. Nothing tangible anyway. But I've got information that could be worth a fortune. I used to be the pilot of the Ebonhawk, Davik's flagship. I know the codes to disable the security system protecting it. I'll load them onto your data pad now. You can use those codes to steal the Ebonhawk right out of its hangar. Sell it to the highest bidder, ransom it back to Davik. Whatever you do, you'll make thousands. It won't be long until Davik figures out I'm free. I have to get out of this base before that happens. We've got what we came for. We should get going. Garth, you fought in the Mandalorian Wars, didn't you? We may have faced each other in combat. What battles were you in? I try not to think about my past battles too much. The horrors of war are something I'd rather not relive. The horrors of war? My people know only the glory of battle. I'm disappointed in you, Karth. I thought a warrior like you would understand. I'm not a warrior. I'm a soldier. There's a difference. Warriors attack and conquer. They, they prey on the weak. Soldiers defend and protect the innocent. Mostly from warriors. Nice speech. I bet you tell yourself that every night so you can sleep. But I accept who and what I am. I don't have to justify it with words. Victory in battle is my justification. Justification through victory? So what happens when you lose? You know, like you did against us. You had us outnumbered five to one. You had more ships, more troops, more supplies, and the Jedi on your side. And we still made the Republic tremble before we fell. Nice speech. I bet you tell yourself that every night so you can sleep. I don't want to talk about this anymore, Candorous. The war is over. You lost. They're bombing the whole planet. I knew they'd turn on us sooner or... Oh, look what we got here. Thieves in a hangar. So, you figured you'd just steal my ship for your getaway and leave me high and dry while the Sith turned the planet into dust? Sorry, but that ain't gonna happen. I'll take care of them, Davik. I've been looking forward to this for a long time. Make it quick, Carlo. The Sith mean business. If we don't get to our ships and find somewhere safe, the bombs there drop and will kill us all. Thank you. 
me outnumbered and outgunned, but if I'm going down, I'm taking all of you with me. This thermal detonator will blow us all to bits. Damn those shit! Now bring this whole hangar down around our ears! Let's get this ship fired up. We'll pick up the rest of your friends and then we'll have to get off this planet. Taris is defenseless against our assault, Lord Malak. They are offering no resistance. The city is in ruins. Resume the bombardment, Commander. Wipe this pathetic planet from the face of the galaxy. Plot a course for Dantooine. There's a Jedi Enclave there where we can find refuge. Incoming fighters! Quickly, to the gun turrets. You have to hold the Sith fighters off until we get those hyperspace coordinates punched in. 